I've been a member of the Exchange Club for about four years now, and I was recruited by one of my friends, and at the time had no idea what the Exchange Club was. But I was looking for something to be a part of, not another board, not another organization I had to fundraise for. I wanted to be a part of an organization that was making a difference one person at a time. Most people don't realize that the Exchange Club of Highline has been serving the needs of the communities in the greater Highline area since 1961. We're a membership organization with dues, and that covers the administrative costs so that 100% of the money we raise can be used to fund our service projects and to contribute to other grassroots organizations in the area. I've met a lot of people that had great hearts in the Exchange Club, helping the community, helping members, and uh, I see the joy in their face, you know, the Christmas gifts, the kids, uh, the gathering of even collecting toilet paper. What's that for, people ask, and you tell them why, and they go, well, that's cool. I, I like that interaction. One of the projects people are most surprised about is our toilet paper drive. In 2010, one of our club members, Brian Troutman, was working at the White Center Food Bank, and he noticed that people would often choose a roll of toilet paper over food, and he was surprised by that, and then found out that people can't buy it with their EBT cards. So he started the toilet paper drive, and it's been going on ever since. And in the first 10 years of the program, we were able to donate over 150,000 rolls. My name is Mike Worley. I've been the executive director here since 2005. Uh, I've been involved with the food bank since 1988. There's a lot of people that are in need, don't have money, period. <clears throat> and so food is available, but people don't always think about toilet paper. Diapers is another thing. Uh, and those things are not able to be bought with the EBT cards that people get from the government. In order to get it, you know, you don't want them to have to decide between what they're going to buy and if you can't get toilet paper, they, they may have to give up something else. So if they can get that through the food bank, it's a big plus. They noticed that our community, the people that were coming, had a real need for diapers, but it wasn't in their budget to do that. So we were able to give them about $1,200 for diapers, which was very much appreciated. It's important that I support the food bank because there was a time when I needed a food bank and the realization that a lot of people are there not because they want to be, but because they've got no other options in their lives. I think it's really important that we have to help individuals in the community. I've always been school-oriented with the different things that, that I, I support, and kids have always been my main category. And with the scholarship programs and, and just working with kids is something that I've really enjoyed. Helping students to succeed makes such a big difference and that's why the Jim Schaefer ACE Scholarship Program is so important. It recognizes students at area high schools who've overcome adversity and challenges to turn their life around and graduate. Local winners have a chance to compete at district and potentially at the nationals for a $15,000 scholarship. My experience with the Highland Exchange Cup just started last year and it was prior to really the spring and I didn't know anything about the Highland Exchange Club before that. They came and met with me and my assistant principal and said, hey, we have this money for your students and, I, and you don't even have to, they don't have to do anything, we're just going to give them this money and we just needed to find someone and, and then we were told they would be in the running for another scholarship and that felt like so amazing because not often do people just show up and say, here's a scholarship for your students, you pick someone and they don't really have to do anything. We just want someone that you think could really benefit from that. The response that I got after we presented the scholarship to our student for last year, so many of the members reached out to me, wanted to watch the video, had comments about it, and, and so I, I just have had really a good experience working with the Highline Exchange Club. Getting involved in a really hands-on way is one of the things our members really like about the Exchange Club of Highline. I think that's why the Santa Outreach Program is such a big success. That's when we go and help the Berrien and Normandy Park Fire Departments deliver special packages for the holidays. So families in need receive food and toys and clothing and a lot more too to make their Christmas just really special. The Christmas Outreach Program uh, has been going on for about 40 years. And what that is, is the fire department uh, asks for a number of families through the DSHS 
and they uh, typically will give us 50 families and through their own vetting program and then what we do is that we ask the community to help us sponsor these individuals and families with donations of food and toys and so uh, that has been a very long ongoing tradition within our community and I'm very proud to be the uh, program coordinator for the last uh, four years. That program does a lot for young people that have families that uh, that are have had some bad times uh, that needed help during the Christmas holiday season and their children. So I retired out of the Army in 2011 after a little over 20 years as a lieutenant colonel and I'm from this area and when I found out that the USO SeaTac Center needed a manager, I was really excited about that. The Highline Exchange Club has been real, uh, really great with supporting us, obviously with, with general fund donations. I know there was a specific hot dog donation at one time, and somebody asked me one time, well, what's, what's so important about a hot dog? Well, I'll tell you what, if you've been in Okinawa or Japan for a few years or some other places where they don't have uh, just a regular hot dog, you know, sometimes just a hot dog and some mustard and some chips is real nice. During the protests, the police were feeling very stressed out and very unappreciated and burdened, and we were able to provide them with multiple snacks and again we were also able to use a local restaurant that provided individual baskets and we delivered them to the precincts in the area which was very much appreciated and we contacted some local restaurants they provided meals individual meals for the staff at the hospital and we had them delivered to the hospital for the ER um, ICU and the COVID units and they were very much appreciated we were able to spend several thousand dollars doing that the Freedom Shrine is so cool. It's sponsored in conjunction with the National Exchange Club, and it's a collection of photographic reproductions of original documents from American history. And the Exchange Club of Highline is proud to have installed dozens in the Highline area. Freedom Shrine, we started many, many years ago. The, the Freedom Shrine is a, a series of documents uh, there's 34 documents now. It changes a little bit over the years, but it begins with the Magna Carta and ends up with Martin Luther King, uh, his speech on I Have a Dream, but it's interspersed with all kinds of documents that are uh, pertinent to the United States, things like the Declaration of Independence, the the peace settlement between Japan and the U.S. and Germany and the U.S. The program I'm most involved with is the backpack program. I've been doing that for 20 years, but the Exchange Club started being a participant about 13 years ago, and they have really made a difference having their support. And we've distributed about 10,000 since we've been involved in it. The counselors write notes and the kids write thank you notes to us saying how appreciative they are of the backpacks and the supplies. I mean, can you imagine a kid going to school and everybody has supplies and they have nothing? It makes a big difference for these kids. They're very appreciative of the supplies. I enjoy what we call a sunshine special where we get the opportunity to um, take seniors to the Mariner games. And I've participated in that every single year. I love it. Uh, some of the time it's the same people and they look forward and in fact they even remember your name. Chris, um, remember you took me two years ago to the ball game? And uh, gosh, we give them goodie bags and just the excitement I see in their eyes of getting to go to a game. Uh, we really appreciate it and it's fun to watch that. The Exchange Club's been invaluable to me and they support the teachers in our community. And, and they give me the money and they let me give it to whoever is the, the person who asks for it this year. And, and I'd like to put a plug in right now. Teachers in the Highline School District are eligible for this program. All they have to do is call me and I will take care of getting them textbooks and, and e-books. In this day and age, it's gotta be e-books and the ebooks come in over a hundred languages. 
While being an Exchange Club member is all about the hands-on experience, we also like to look for grassroots organizations to support with financial contributions. People who are making a huge impact on improving the quality of life in the greater Highline area, like Para Los Niños. I think Exchange Club serve uh, many of the community that we serve, so we have mutual goals. We have many dreams. One of our dreams was to move to a new space that is a nice space for the staff and for the community. I think one of those dreams are now true. We need people that work in a nonprofit. Our community needs a space that really can feel always is their home, always they can come in. Many new families that come to this country immigrated and they still have a needs to learn English. We have the Leadership Academy. That was the one that was created because the needs of the parents to advocate for their children. The other one is the summer program that parents get together and talk about our culture. So really it's very community-based organization and we really hear the needs of the community. One of my dreams is to have a robust budget to make our programs more sustainable and thriving. Think about it. Proud bicultural and bilingual happy children make great students. One of the other programs that the Exchange Club of Highline is proud to support each year is Hospitality House. It's a homeless women's shelter at the Lake Burien Presbyterian Church, and it's a wonderful 90-day program to help these women find permanent housing and financial stability. Wow, the Highline Exchange Club has been very generous to Hospitality House, and we appreciate the, the generosity. And really, um, it's organizations like the Exchange Club and individuals um, who give of their time and uh, resources, money, um, ha that, that keeps Hospitality House uh, going. Um, there's some other funding, but most, most of it is just donations from volunteers and community groups like the Exchange Club. You know, there's a proverb that talks about a guy that's broken and hurt and hungry laying in the middle of the street and everybody walks by. I can't walk by. I have to step up if I can, if I have the opportunity and the means. No matter if it's a little bit, because even a little to some people in certain situations is, is very large. So I'm, I feel compelled to help where I can when I see a need. If you're thinking about um, donating to the Exchange Club, you know your money's gonna make a difference because 100% of your your dollars will go to help our community. Everything that we do is donated. It's all volunteer. There's nothing that we, all the funds that we raise, none of that uh, goes into administration of the things. I mean, it's just totally volunteer. I've been with the Exchange Club for 29 years. I have an electrical contracting mechanical business in Burien called Economy Wiring Company. We've been there since uh, 1978. I just want to give back to the community. I've been very fortunate in my life. Just want to give back to the communities. Um, and what I like about the Exchange Club, everyth everything stays in the community. And, um, you know, we don't take any administration fees. Whatever we earn, 100% of it goes back into the community. And that's what I like. It's easy to think that um, as an individual, you can't do much, but when you join a group of people that have the same common goal, you can really achieve a lot. And this club has been able to do so much to this community, and it's been amazing to be a part of that. You know that one child can't necessarily come to you and say, I need school supplies, but I can. And at the Exchange Club, we can. We can help you help them. All you have to do is provide a donation for us and we can help that man and woman who come to the food bank that don't have toilet paper or need food. We can help all the kids that need school supplies and backpacks for school. You can help us help the service men and women who come through the USO at SeaTac and provide them with a great experience when they're there. All of this can be accomplished with your help today. Well, we certainly appreciate them making a difference in the community. Uh, I mean, it's really it's just it's it's a way f to, for them to enable organizations who are oriented towards taking care of others in our community to be able for them to do what they do 
Uh, and certainly the, the Highline Exchange Club has been making a huge difference around here with USO Northwest and specifically the SeaTac Center, uh, which is, you know, we're very grateful for. We're one of the busiest centers on the planet, I like to say, because I've been in some. I've been in the, uh, the Pat Tillman uh, USO in uh, Afghanistan and Kabul, and that's a special place, but we get, we average when we're fully, fully operational about 12,000 people a month come through this specific USO. So we are definitely one of the busiest. And it, I tell you, it, it's, it's because of the wonderful people here in the Puget Sound area that keep our doors open, keep us supplied with what we need to do uh, to take care of these, uh, these troops and their family members. This community needs all the help it can get. Um, our borders that we uh, support are full of opportunities. Gosh. Um, and again, it's all ages that need the help. This is an organization that can really get things done in their community. And they can see the results of their time and their money and know that it's been spent in a worthwhile way. And if they see something that they would like, that if they see a need in the community, they ha can be involved. They can simply um, contact the right people and it can happen. I think for all the people that donate, for all the people that are going to donate, uh, I first of all want to say thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it and we do not just give the money away half-heartedly. We are very sincere about who we give to, what we do, and how we do it in the community. And we're very involved in our community with whoever we talk to. So a big thank you and give as much as you can. Anything we can do to help and make things a little easier for all these people is, is what it's all about. But the Exchange Club does so many good things for so many people. It, it's money well spent. And I, I know some of the people that, that belong to the Exchange Club and they're very attentive to how that money's spent. This organization takes the money that's given to them by members of our community and reinvest that in making people's lives better.